Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on, Ace Money? This is Sportsbook Robbery. It's for Monday Night Football, September 9th. All right, we got uh, Jets versus San Francisco. Aaron Rodgers return. Uh, strategy sticking to the same game plan. Uh, gut feelings. Aaron's first game back. Uh, you know, he's an all star, pro bowler, I should say, right? Super Bowl winner, veteran. Uh, can read the defense. He's he's gonna take what he can what he can get. It's pretty simple. A couple check downs. You know, obviously hit a receiver if he got him. Uh, and so then we got the San Francisco. That you know, depending on how McCaffrey is, but they got a lot of options, and uh, I just picked some lines that I think are low enough. And uh, should work out. So let's get right into that. George Kittle receiving yards over 39 and a half. Uh, one, minus 152. It's all the way up to minus 190 on DraftKings. So uh, I played these last night. The odds changed a little bit. So definitely have multiple books, like I always say. And uh, jump on it. I did drop all these plays in the community last night. So. Hopefully you took a look at him. Um, if you watch football, you know who George Kittle is. Gone over this many times last year. He's tight end. It should be easy cash. Uh, no problem. All right. Next up, McCaffrey receiving yards over 33 and a half. Minus 110, FanDuel. Uh, you bet in larger numbers, always all line it back. Tell you that. Tell you that. Tell you that. Tell you that. Lines that opened up at 36 and a half, down to 33 and a half. Uh, messing around with a hurt calf and Achilles or some shit, but he's playing. So we'll see what happens. Uh, awesome receiving back. He's going to get many yards. Uh, if he plays anything that he's capable of playing, he can make this in one play. I know Jets got a good defense, great defense. But uh, he should be able to get this. Um I was thinking about running with Eliza Mitchell just in case McCaffrey gets hurt and doesn't play. They got his his he's the other running back, second running back. They got his uh, anytime touchdown at like a plus thousand. But uh, I don't know. I might sprinkle on that, but it's not a play I'm giving, obviously. But, uh, and I didn't see any other plays for his yards and shit. But, uh, yeah, Christian McCaffrey receiving yards over 33 and a half. I think that's the best way to go for him. All right, next up, Juan Jennings, wide receiver for the 49ers. Uh, he's like, like third, second, third. You know, he's not one of the main guys, not Ayuk and stuff. Uh, He's not going to be a first option, like I will Kittle, McCaffrey. So he's definitely down the list. But uh, when I dropped his play, it was at 16 and a half. It went up to 19 and a half. So uh, I like finding plays like this, third option, low numbers, that uh, where they got his receptions at something. It's so an easy way to try to figure out how – I've been talking about these the last couple of days – to figure out what a play is going to do because the books are always spot on. 
So highly juiced at 158, uh, 168, one and a half receptions. So you know he's going to get at least two. That's basically what it's saying. Two and a half, 105, three and a half, good plus money. So they're saying around two or three. Should have like four targets. Uh, average yards per reception. Actually, I'm going to go to yards. Last year, you know, two receptions, average yards per reception, 12 and a half. These are uh, long receptions, so he, you know, he's got that breakout potential, 23 yards, 18, 17, 19, 24, 34, 31, sorry. But, uh, yeah, 16 and a half, even 19 and a half. Two catches, he can go over that at one. So let's get it. Juan Jennings. Uh, I played at 16 and a half. They got it at 18 and a half. Always get the lowest number. All right, jumping on the Jets side of things. Uh, tight end, Tyler Conklin. Played him many times last year. Two and a half, three receptions. Uh, they got it at like three and a half right now. So one with the yards at 24 and a half. A little juice, minus 154. Uh, highly juiced on Jeff Kings, minus 170. Big discrepancy. So get it locked in. Hopefully, so you got to subscribe, turn my notifications on. So I put all these plays in the community last night. Uh, that's where you get a head start. And... Uh, you know, I try to be as transparent as possible. While I'm talking about it, like that video. New viewers, subscribe. And uh, likes, comments, help get the videos out there. As well as a little feedback, a little interaction. Let me know what you think, if I should change anything. Uh, appreciate everyone who does. So, uh, yeah, this number is just too low. 24 and a half, two catches, he's going over it. Uh they had, I was going to play uh, the, the original, the minus 110, it's like 29 and a half. But for the minus 154 and the amount of money I bet, it's only like a $3 difference. So to save five yards for $3 could be the difference between cashing and not cashing. Uh, obviously, he went over this many times last year. He's averaging four receptions last year. Nine yards per reception. So, uh, a couple catches easily over this. Let's get it. So, uh, Brees Hall receiving yards over 24 and a half. Rogers going to be new. I mean, a veteran. Like I said, all this shit before, we know who he is. Uh, Brees Hall is a back who can catch. They utilized him a lot last year, but I believe that was because the quarterback was trash and it was short short game passes. But what's going to happen is if uh, the receivers get locked down, Aaron's going to check it down. And uh, this should, could get cleared right away. 24 and a half minus 134. Uh once again, big discrepancy. DraftKings is minus 150. So find these key numbers and play them. Uh, some games went over, some games didn't. But like I said, I, that's what I feel like is going to happen. Uh, you know, third option, third read, I should say. And Aaron's, you know, receives covered. This guy's covered. Bam, check it down couple of them throughout the game, a couple first downs, cash money. Let's get it. All right. Uh, this guy is new to the Jets, Mike Williams, receiving yards over 24 and a half. See, making these videos or even just dropping plays in general, but making the videos, sometimes you mess with my sports betting. Um, try to – Play lines sooner sometimes just so I have time to make the videos and do this and that. I got hung up today, so that's why the video's late. But uh, I played it last night. Sometimes you get better numbers, sometimes you get worse numbers. Uh, 
I got it at like 26, 27. I don't really remember, but it wasn't 24. So they got it at 24 and a half. Definitely I like it better too, obviously. He came from the Chargers. Uh, three games last year, 45 yards, 83, 121. It just stuck out to me. I liked it. Uh, he's on the board. He can catch, obviously. Three of three. I'm going with it. Certain play, you know, some gut feeling plays. That's how sports band works. Seven receptions, eight targets. I mean, they were using them. That's per game. Caught seven out of eight, caught eight out of 13. Like, they were heavily leaning on him. It just seemed like somebody who could catch. I don't know much about him. I just feel like uh, low number. And uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to utilize whoever he can. Another play I was looking at that I didn't bet was Lazard. Lazard was on Green Bay with Aaron. They came over together. Aaron got hurt. Obviously, didn't play last year. But I uh, could look out for that. Might try to his number is pretty low. I did play Christian McCaffrey over two touchdowns, anytime touchdowns, plus like three fifty. Excuse me. There's uh I think it was FanDuel, DraftKings, they have uh dropped in the community last night. Uh, Fandle plus three fifty. They had a no. It was DraftKings. They had a uh, one of them bonus bets to where you can get up to forty dollars back, uh, no sweat bet. So if it doesn't cash up to forty dollars, they'll pay it. But they'll give it back as a bonus bet. You won't be able to cash it out, but you could reuse it. So I dropped forty on. On him to uh, have two touchdowns. If he's, you know, if McCaffrey's utilized and he don't get hurt, he should have two touchdowns. And uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take because if not, I'll get my money back. Uh, I've been doing pretty well so far. You know, it is what it is. Sports betting is a sprint. Uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And, uh, you know, one day at a time. Whether he win or lose, you treat every day as if it's the same. So let's keep it moving. Ace money the name, get paid for the game. Let's go. Probably should start doing this a different way. I'd like to do teams with the teams and whatnot, but uh favorite plays out of the group, Kittle, thirty nine and a half, Bryce Hall receiving yards, twenty four and a half, Conklin and uh McCaffrey receiving yards, right? Did I say that? Kittle, Hall, Conklin, and McCaffrey. I feel like those are definitely no brain is easily cashed. And then the other three, obviously, I put my money on it, so I believe it's going to happen, but I favored those first four. Let's get it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.